What we're trying to achieve principally is a, an educational project where our students from Ireland uh, can uh, grow in strength and um, understanding of other cultures as well as their own personal talents. Well, it started in 2002 when we came out and uh, started building schools for 10 years. We built a school each year, sometimes two. Um, but it was very much about providing infrastructure and um, not so much about uh, knowing or being concerned about what went on inside the schools. Uh, this year it's taken a new turn and uh, we're spending some time on construction in the early morning and then we're concentrating on teaching English to the children of the Jar Kali school. So this is a new development. We have four class groups in the school here in Jar Kali and we have our students arranged into eight teaching teams. So each teaching team takes half of a class group for the two hour session each day. One hour of that session is spent in the class doing work with the blackboard and the copy books and the other hour is spent outside doing more active game-based learning. It works through a method of group learning, collaborative learning and uh, using techniques where peer-to-peer -peer learning takes place. So the teacher is much more a facilitator uh, than in the normal traditional practice of teaching. So we're applying that here. Very good. Very good. What are these? What's this? No, no. Well, we have 18 transition year students from our school, John Scotus in Dublin. There are then seven girls from Loretto School, from the similar age group, uh, 15, 16 year old, uh, who are working in groups, in groups of three. So we have two John Scotus kids and uh, a Loretto girl. They can speak Bengali and English, so they're very fluent in both, and so they help to bridge the gap, if you like, of understanding between our students and the local Jarkali students. Um, games are actually particularly hard because you need a translator to actually translate the, the rules of the game. Once they got into it, you got Yeah. yeah. Okay. 20 parts. minutes we can do this. Yeah. 20 body, minutes. The body parts time. we can. Body parts. The body part, it will it's take like time. Half an hour. Maybe next week if they know more stuff that we've told them, what we can do is throw a ball and say, what's the, what's the first day of the week? And they go Monday, and then they throw it to the next person. Like, like, you go through like the yeah. days of the week with the ball. I think tomorrow we stick to colours and numbers. Yes. And then the next day we can do directions. So like right, left, middle, up, centre, down.
just trying to teach them colours and what they are. Um, like it's a really good way of kind of teaching because it shows them the colour as well, rather than just saying the word like this is red, which is a really really easy way of explaining it and getting the message across to the kids. Obviously, coming here just for two weeks and working with the children is not enough. And we, we, we've asked teachers to observe what's going on and we talk to them afterwards and we give them some structured reflections on what they see. But really, that wasn't very successful. Um, so the next step was to actually sit down with the teachers and say, what do you need to help you? And they want some sort of teacher training. So we now involving Loretto Calcutta, who have outreach programs uh, to maybe come here give some training programs with them or they go to Calcutta, whichever. But they are um, saying they want to do this. So um, Kevin has also devised an interim program until that happens where they can devise lessons on a, on a collaborative basis that the way we're using them. I, I know that I know, don't know the word beside. But what is the beside? It is beside. It is front. It is bare. It is, it, it is a practical knowledge and uh, 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 <coughs> learning and practical learning. Good learning. It is, it is a good system. Good learning. Yeah. Why I did it in the first place was in order to give students something to really focus on. Before I took over transition year, it was the annual Austrian ski trip. And I just felt that was a waste of money. I mean, why spend 600 euros of their parents' money on a trip like this when you could actually do something useful uh, in a community like this, as well as being a learning tool for the students. I mean, one thing about our school is that we always uh, take the view that each child is uh, complete in themselves and that the, 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 the inadequacies that they may experience uh, are, are not real, that in, in fact uh, each child is complete in themselves. Some of the Indian students have volunteered to, to bring their new teachers to, to see where they live and to meet their families. So this will allow our students to gain a better understanding of the local students, which may feed into some of their teaching over the next few days. And it will also allow some of the parents in the area get an understanding of what it is we're trying to do in the school and the, the type of ideas we're trying to introduce. And hopefully that will help these things catch on in, in the community. You live here? Hi, my name is Rita Vishas. Hello. Uh, you? My name is Devashi Vishas. Do you drink it? Yeah, you yeah. drink it. Then what do you all do? <laughs> what else do you think you're going to do? I thought you might. Probably going to spend then, all Then uh, put in the glass, it will be good for you.
A big part of me is not looking forward to going home because I don't want to go back to the cold rain. I don't want to go back to school. I want to stay here. I want to teach. I want to be with these bright, funny, amazing kids. I think the day before yesterday, I was playing Dr. Goose with them and I was sitting in the circle and uh, one of the boys puts his hand on my lap and just says thank you. <laughs> it was so cute because the way he said it was so innocent. He doesn't know any English and he thanked me. So I don't know, it was sweet and he was so small. Tomorrow I'm going to one of the students' houses, Bizojit, and he's a, such a sweet kid. He's so sound. I actually love him to bits. I'm going to be so sad when I have to leave him. But, uh, and he, uh, he said to me the other day that I was like his, his older brother. And that really touched me, you know. And I, like, I told him that he was like my little brother. My name is Pithi Raj. Uh, how old are you? I am 13 years old. Which class are you in? I did in class 8. Do you have any brothers and sisters? I have no brothers and no sisters. I mean, kids are coming up to us now on the, on the road and they're, they're actually give, they're saying, you know, sentences, you know, they're, they're asking us questions and they're, they're not shy as, we're, as they used to be. They're engaging us. That's good. I would say that this is definitely something that can be done again, um, whether that's with John Scottis or other schools, whether it's in Jarkarli or different parts of India. Um, the local students are gaining from it. The, the Irish students are learning an awful lot in terms of confidence, communication skills. It's everybody wins from, from what we're doing here. Everyone's learning and um, it's, it's a big collaborative learning adventure. So this kind of, I called it rite of passage thing earlier, where they have this experience here, it, it, it can allow them to, um, to make that step from sort of childhood into adulthood in a more confident way and um, to realize their own strengths. And, and that group experience, which is quite intense here, of being thrown together and sleeping rough and uh, eating simply and uh, working hard, uh, the physical work is quite important in that regard, and then mentally using their minds to teach, I think is a huge growth um, opportunity for young people.
gun, they're nothing to the inarticulate And how could they capture the darkening matter in your eyes of oh, warm to me? Though I know it's been so long Oh, see that I Oh, I could be the man that's sick and all Take it off.